Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Now, I'm watching this area off the coast of Africa. There is a very high likelihood that this does develop. Uh, looks like uh, the, ne the next name on the list is Ernesto, and it looks like of all the spots uh, out there that that would eventually get the name. So Ernesto is the next name. Now, where will it go? It is way too early to tell exactly where this will go. I'm going to show you some maps and some models of uh, some potential scenarios, but please take them with a grain of salt. There's a lot that can change. Again, this is way out there right now, so I'm not positive yet where it may uh, go. I kind of need one more day to get a good handle. It looks like this will generally head toward the northeastern Caribbean, uh, but it's kind of a matter of does it develop quickly or does it take its time? So I need one more day, but if you don't mind sharing some of this uh, information just to kind of put out the alert. That's why I do this channel to give you the early heads up. That's why I've been talking about this for a couple of days now. It's that spot there that is going to march its way in the general direction of the Caribbean and I do believe it will develop. So thank you for sharing this information and just kind of getting the word out. So here we are across uh, the uh, Caribbean. Here's Puerto Rico down through Trinidad, St. Lucia, Barbados, Dominica. There's one tropical wave here that will bump up some of our rain chances as we go over the next few days. So I'll cover that. But we've got this spot here and kind of another little surge of moisture moving off. And uh, that is going to eventually develop as it uh, marches its way off toward the west. Now, let's get a look at the models first. So there'll be this spot that mar here's Africa that marches across following the global trade wind pattern and starts to work toward the general direction of the uh, Caribbean. The European model does have this become a hurricane. With that said, it doesn't have it necessarily become a hurricane here. It has it more so over here, right? So it's a matter of when it develops into a hurricane. But I, I, with this, I want to show you that, yeah, the models are saying, hey, this is going to eventually develop. It's a matter of when and where, of course. The American model, which is the GFS, also has this as an eventual hurricane somewhere. Uh, the Canadian model had it as a hurricane yesterday. But checking some of the uh, recent information, it's kind of backed off of that. It's not really seeing it as of now. It has no storm. And the, the Icon German model, which has done very well this season, uh, has it as well as a hurricane. So you can see kind of my uh, uh, heightened state with this. Uh, this definitely has my attention. This is going to be marching across. And I do believe with everything I'm seeing in the environment that it will develop. All right, now let's look at the uh, European model. Here is uh, Debbie up here. Here's Cuba. Here's Jamaica right here. And then it's this area out here that we're watching. The green on the map, that would be some rain. So here we are in the Eastern Caribbean. Here's the blocker, that area of high pressure. Uh, that acts like a blocker. So this being up here keeps this area moving to the west as of now. But that area of high pressure has changed some, and that's going to be very critical. That's why I don't know where this will eventually end up yet. Let's move forward here, just kind of going out in time. This here is by uh, Saturday. So this is by Saturday. You can see here we are in the Caribbean, and we can see that there's the moisture right there building up. Let me take you out on time a little bit uh, more so. This here is by Sunday. Now on Sunday, it's this area right here, still not developed. Here we are in Barbados, Trinidad, to get over toward Antigua and Barbuda and Anguilla. There's the area of high pressure that's to the uh, kind of north. But uh, a week ago, uh, this area of high pressure is right about here right? So now that it's over here, it's the blocker, it's like a fence, it's over here, that may allow this to kind of move a little bit more uh, back toward uh, the uh, northwest. How much? I'm not sure. So it may not necessarily just go directly uh, to the west like, like a barrel did, for example. It looks like this will make more of a curve at least to the west-northwest. You see here, this is by Monday. Here's this area here. The European model on Monday, this would be good, does not have it develop yet. The American model is a little more aggressive. There's the area of high pressure well off uh, to the uh, east. So with that, this area, again, may make a little bit more of a turn. So this is Monday, taking you ahead, and this is going to change, right? Uh, we've got a lot of time between uh, now and then. Now, this is Tuesday. Here's that spot developing. It is now developing in the uh, northeastern Caribbean. What will it be at that point? Not sure. So kind of a wait and see, but it looks like it could be a tropical depression, developing tropical storm at that point. The area of high pressure that used to be here is way over there. Now there's a front to the north. This front may help grab this and draw it a little bit more to the north 
or this area may miss the front. And if it misses the front, it could take more of a track like Debbie, work its way into the Gulf of Mexico, or this front could kind of grab it and bring it a little bit closer to the Bahamas. Now, uh, this is, uh, I'm showing you everything, uh, you know, I'm kind of seeing with this, but please know that this is going to change some. This is by the time we get into uh, Thursday. So that is a week from today. So no doubt we're going to have some changes, but it shows somewhere, say, uh, Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, this area that really does try to spin up. Uh, this is the European model having this developing into a hurricane a week from now. But this right here, so my friends in the Bahamas, for example, it may actually be over here, not sure yet. It could be over here, not sure yet. So watching Bermuda, it's a wait and see, but it's showing development and then another strong tropical wave back behind it. So this is a week from now it's clearly going to change some. Now the American model uh, is showing development quicker and that would be a bigger concern for us in the Eastern and especially Northeastern Caribbean. But I need one more day to kind of get a handle on if this solution is, is accurate, because if it is, we're gonna be on a much more heightened state. We're gonna to have to start to think about taking some preps in a few areas. But as far as uh, this goes, this is by the time we get into Monday, there's that spot right there, but it's starting to develop it already at this point and that that's that would be a problem and then it makes it a named system working into the eastern caribbean but remember the european model does not have it generally the same track but at this point it has it developing uh, into a tropical depression or tropical storm uh, near uh, dominica over to down through uh, saint lucia uh, the possible martinique uh, guadalupe barbados at this point this would be tuesday uh, but this could be up here, hopefully over water, or it could be where it is. But you see how it develops it a lot quicker. And this here is about a week from now. So this is as we work our way into Wednesday, having it develop into a tropical storm or hurricane. British U.S. Virgin Islands, of course, watching Puerto Rico. And then uh, bringing this a little bit more to the west-northwest. There's that front that I talked about. High pressure is way the heck away. So this front is going to help to kind of drag it a little bit more up to the north, whatever it is. This would be definitely, no doubt, I don't do this channel for fear, this would be a scarier uh, scenario for sure, but I just showed you the European model that doesn't show it as aggressive. I'm not sure which one is kind of right yet. I mean, as I mentioned, I'm not sure exactly where it's going to go, but this is that heightened state that there's going to be something moving toward the uh, Caribbean. It's just a matter of kind of when it develops and then a little bit more of a curl to the west-northwest. And at this point, of course, a week from now, does it kind of shoot more to the north or does it kind of make a, a track more uh, back toward uh, through the northern Caribbean and work its way into the uh, Gulf of Mexico? But this here is what I'm watching. Now, what we had with barrel, not that this is a barrel situation, but barrel just rolled over such warm water. The heat content is the biggest ingredient this uh, hurricane season. Okay, so the water temperatures, we know they're warm. They're always warm, it's August, uh, and uh, they're running above average, but the heat content, it's these pockets here of warm, very warm, deep water. The water is warm well down below. So as the water churns up, as the system moves over it, it just brings up more kind of fuel for it. So uh, we don't need anything passing this, and this is gonna roll over. You see this kind of darker shading here, looking near Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis. There is some higher heat content right here. These pockets, of course, are, are hotter. That's a, a bigger issue, but there is some uh, very, very uh, kind of, let's just call it fuel, substantial fuel for this uh, uh, system. That's, that's the concern through the entire season, and this area is going to move over that. So I do believe it's going to develop. It's a matter of kind of how quickly it is going to develop. So Debbie's out there to the north. Uh, if this area does get a name, the next name on the list is Ernesto. Uh, and then after that, Francine, Gordon, Helene, Isaac, Joyce going down the list. So uh, Debbie's still ongoing, but, uh, but there is is Ernesto. Now let me swing back here and I want to show you this. There is one tropical wave moving here. Here's Jamaica. As I mentioned yesterday, more of the rain would be to the south. A few days ago, I was, I was looking at a higher rain outlook uh, for us in Jamaica, but this tropical wave, which is good, uh, did just kind of fizzle apart, although some of us need some rain and a little break from the heat, uh, but uh, it fizzled apart. Uh, that, I say that uh, cautiously because Honduras, Nicaragua, we're going to have some heavy areas of rain moving in. Because it didn't get as uh, strong, it kind of just moved more to the west, but that does mean a higher flooding risk. Honduras, Nicaragua and Costa Rica watching that today and flaring up even Guatemala and El Salvador. So we see the rain right through here, even parts of uh, Panama, but you see Jamaica, some scattered showers and storms for today, but this tropical wave, a little more of a track uh, to the uh, south. Here are the uh, Cayman Islands. Here we are in Haiti. Now, as we, there's another tropical wave that's going to work in. This here is by tomorrow afternoon. You see some of the moisture that's going to be building uh, back here. That, that area I'm not seeing uh, developing. Here's some of the extra rain near Belize. 
uh, scattered. It's not going to be all day, but scattered showers and storms tomorrow. Belize back through the Yucatan of Mexico. But then we start to see this next tropical wave moving in. This is not the one that's uh, I'm, I'm seeing developing. That's still near Africa. But you see by Saturday, just a heads up, rain chance is going to bump up. We have another tropical wave that will be sliding in. Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent the Grenadines, St. Lucia, rain chance will be a bit higher. Now we swing to the eastern Pacific. This here, this, this ended up winning out. I mentioned how uh, one uh, system out here in the eastern Pacific would take over the other one. Amelia took over uh, Fabio. Fabio has kind of been ab absorbed in this. Uh, there could be a little development over here that should continue to scoot away. Here's Mexico, but there is Amelia. Now, one name system out there just a couple days ago, there were four name systems out there in the uh, eastern Pacific. Now, here's the Atlantic region of Canada. We had one front press by. Uh, this is uh, taking you through the uh, day today. So we had one front kind of move by. Here's uh, Quebec. And then you see this moisture down here, of course. That is with uh, Debbie thinking of uh, uh, our friends that have been dealing with some of the uh, flooding. Of course, that's all been very, very well uh, advertised. Uh, that uh, rain continues to work up. And you see that surge of moisture building southern Quebec. And then you get to our New Brunswick. This is tomorrow around midday. We're going to see some of that rain working in. Prince Edward Island, eventually over toward Nova Scotia. And there's what's left of Debbie. Again, not a name system or anything uh, tropical at this point. It will lose its tropical characteristics. But on Saturday, you see Saturday, uh, Newfoundland will see that better chance of rain picking up, watching kind of those remnants of Debbie as it swings to the north. Still, technically, it is a, a tropical storm right now. Winds at 50 miles per hour, but it has moved inland, making another landfall uh, right back through uh, South Carolina and then lifting that rain up to the north. So there's that pocket of some higher seas and we have the other tropical wave moving in so the seas are going to build here's meters there's feet on the right hand side of your screen let's just go out in time here this is by tomorrow so this is our Friday uh, choppier conditions uh, northeastern Caribbean and just to the north on the Atlantic in the uh, Atlantic waters as this next tropical wave moves by and then this is by Sunday and getting into uh, next week as we watch this area that I'm seeing uh, developing, you see it right there. Look how these uh, seas are really going to build. This is by Monday, dangerous seas. This is based on the American model. So it's showing earlier development, which would mean those seas are really going to build, especially if this becomes a name system by Monday or Tuesday of next week. Now in the short term, still some of these feeder bands, we had some rain as expected. We were talking about the, that yesterday in parts of the uh, Northern uh, Bahamas, still Still watching out for a few areas of range, just kind of trying to feed in to uh, Debbie. But in the short term, other than some spotty showers and storms, which still could be strong, you could get a strong thunderstorm uh, that gives us 25 millimeters of rain to an inch of rain. The rain chance is not super high. So some scattered showers and storms in Guilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, of course, were on higher alert for this area that's near the coast of Africa for development. But in a couple days, that next tropical wave works in. So you can see here on Saturday, that rain chance will be higher. St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, Northeastern Venezuela, and even Barbados. And we could get a few showers and storms, uh, Dominica and Martinique, uh, but we could see some higher total 75 millimeters of rain to three inches of rain. If this tropical wave kind of brings some of that heavier moisture into our area, Guyana will also see some higher totals, not quite as much in Suriname, but this is an issue. Eastern Honduras, parts of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, an additional 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain over the next few days with that tropical wave nearby. Uh, much of Mexico, not a lot. Mexico City to the north, drier, scattered showers and storms of Belize uh, back toward uh, the Yucatan as you get over toward Cancun, Cozumel, and uh, Merida. So Jamaica, as I was talking about that rain, kind of more to the south, but still some scattered showers and storms. We're looking at about a 30 to 40 percent chance across the Cayman Islands. Rain chance Trinidad and Tobago it is going to start to bump up with the next rain chance uh, moving in. But these tropical waves, it's scattered areas of rain. So we may get dumped on or it may just uh, some of that rain could be just just offshore. Barbados rain chance will bump up on Saturday and you see it too. St. Lucia, we're up to 50 percent chance on Saturday. 50% chance right across uh, Grenada. Rain chance will bump up St. Vincent and the Grenadines this weekend with that tropical wave moving in. That is not the one that I am super concerned about. Martinique, 30 to 40% chance. And you see that rain chance getting a little higher as we work our way toward uh, Dominica. Rain chance in Guadeloupe tomorrow on Saturday, about 40% chance. Tomorrow on Saturday, Antigua and Barbuda, isolated chance of a shower. 20 to 30% chance St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, and a 20 to 30% chance Anguilla and St. Bart's. 30% chance of rain tomorrow. 
St. Martin, Cebu, and Stacia, which just means isolated, generally dry. Puerto Rico, we could get a couple of thunderstorms around and a passing shower or a thunderstorm. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, 30 to 40 percent chance in the Bahamas, favoring the northern Bahamas, though. We're generally on the dry side as we work our way back through the Turks and Caicos. Tomorrow and Saturday, Dominican Republic, a few showers and storms possible. Haiti, very hot today. Rain chance at 30 percent could get a stray pop up storm. Belize, our rain chance is going to get higher. It's not a washout. Not all of us will get it, but tomorrow and Saturday, the rain chance will bump up. Keep me posted in those comments. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire could see a passing shower, but the rain chance not uh, super high as we slide over the next few days. About an even 50% chance in Guyana, favoring central and northern sections, and about a 40 to 50% chance in Suriname. Could see some isolated showers and storms today across Cuba. Rain chance, of course, higher, as I was mentioning, the uh, flooding with that tropical wave moving in Costa Rica parts of Panama and uh, Nicaragua over the next couple days. Very active, especially eastern side of uh, Honduras and then our islands that are in the Western Caribbean, Providencia, for example. 40 to 50 percent chance in Guatemala and El Salvador will pick up with that tropical wave sliding in tomorrow and Saturday. Mexico City, 40 percent chance of scattered storms, 30 to 40 percent chance a little higher across the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. Now, northern uh, Colombia, we could get a few. Same thing as we work our way toward northern Venezuela and Bermuda, a spot we actually need to get some rain right now the rain chance stays generally on the uh, low side. So this tropical wave near Africa is now likely to develop. It should become a named system next week. It's a matter of when, and that will dictate kind of uh, what we get across parts of the northeastern Caribbean. But we're all watching this. Thank you for sharing the information. Uh, too early to tell exactly where it will go. I mentioned that area of high pressure has moved off, so it will take more of a curve kind of quickly or a little bit more to the west-northwest. But either way, it's going to be a very busy pattern. We knew this hurricane season would be super active. Uh, we're not even really into the heart of the hurricane season. It's as we go throughout this month, but also September and October. So we have a lot ahead of us. So that busy pattern, it's it's pretty much here and it's just going to get busier and I'll be tracking it. So again, please uh, share this information about that spot coming off the coast of Africa. I'll be tracking it nonstop for you behind the scenes. I will keep you posted. Got you covered. Have a good day ahead.